been working in the greenhouse all day today and it's absolutely crazy how much additional space uh, this these shelves hanging shelves in here have given us in addition to the planting area here but you can see it's filling up in here um, getting ready to take a little bit of a break because my little friend here is telling me it's dinner time <laughs> and uh, then I'm gonna <clears throat> try to excuse me get some herbs culinary and medicinal herbs started inside as well but yeah we've got so much there's like thousands of plants in here right now <laughs> which is absolutely crazy and it doesn't even include all the fruit and nuts that we propagated outside which um, will probably start um, potting some of those up just so we have them for next week and we'll leave the others growing in the ground until we're ready to pull those up to pot them but yeah we're, we got a lot of stuff going on in here so this is this is just really cool I'm I'm in here just like so overwhelmed by how much things have changed between last year and this year with our capacity and what we're able to do and you know we're we're a small outfit you know we're a small outfit we have over a, a little over an acre space um, we use permaculture design principles a lot of polyculture companion planting utilization of the space in such a way that it's beneficial to the plants as well as the beings and things so yeah there's a lot of stuff going on here and this these hanging shelves are like blowing my mind um, each one of these shelves can manage about 10 trays of plants and in each tray depending on uh, how big the cells are we can plant between 36 and 72 plants so some of these cells have 36 plants in them um, or more because we generally kind of do two seeds per cell just just in case and um, some have 72 so we have the capacity for 10 trays per nine and a half foot long um, shelving, hanging shelving. So you do the math. <laughs> it's crazy. And I've seen a, seeing a lot more little green sprouts starting to pop up in here. Both sides of these are planted. So this is really cool because we're able to use this space to its its capacity um, and it's still not at capacity yet but it doesn't mean it needs to be um, but yeah you know with these hanging shelves we are able to utilize all of the growing space underneath and then some along this little pathway here where I have some turmeric and we have some other large ones that are in there starting to sprout more they, they were ones that we overwintered from last year and so I'm kind of probably going to bring those out sometime this week as well and you see right outside here those little greens all those green sprouts that's our garlic and it's looking really good it's it's uh, the stalks are really nice and thick and we have like three different types of garlic in there we have purple garlic we have the the giant and we have like a gooseneck type so it'll be interesting to see how those bulbs are but we won't be selling those I'll pretty much um, hang and dry those and also use those for some of my tinctures and when I do some honey garlic infusion so we may have a few for sale but for the most part those were though that was grown for medicine so um, and then also to be able to 
to replant the bulbs for next year based on how everything comes out. So yeah, so I think it's Kai, you think it's time for us to go get a little bit of something to eat? Yeah, she said yes. And notice notice she had got her groom her groom yesterday. She's looking really cute. Yeah. Bless you. So anyway, it's been nice out here today. Um and more greens coming out here, you see. Uh, like I said, I imagine by the end of this week or even the next couple days, you'll continue to see things just like sprouting out. Um, and I try to take a lot of pictures and videos so that folks get a chance to see how things change. We had probably more people come in the winter and fall this year to visit and tour which was great because they got a chance to see things when it was in its so-called dormancy, but we know things aren't dormant during that time. Um, and they can't wait to come back as it starts to change so they'll get a chance to see that whole transition. So, yeah, I'm running out of steam, so I need a little bit of something. <laughs> okay, 